November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, Whiskey 0, Charlie Tingle Lima. Copy. Ready for our students. Over. My name is Roland Martin. What kinds of experiments do you do on the ISS? Over. My name is Addison Stokes. How do you relax on the ISS? Over. Addison, one of our favorite things to do is movie night every Saturday night with the whole crew, and we even have special movie scenes. Over. My name is Catherine DiPlacido. What are some of the most common errors when working outside or inside the ISS? Over. Honestly, some of the most common errors are not following directions closely. It's important on Earth, and it's important up here, too. Over. My name is Emily Gunger. Did you enter the military, and how many years of flying did you complete before being chosen to go to space? Over. So we have both military and civilian astronauts. I'm a civilian doctor, actually. Um, we have military astronauts that are both pilots and non-pilots, and civilians that are engineers, scientists, and doctors. So you can enter the astronaut corps either way. Over. Hi, my name is Avery Black, and how often do you get to talk to your family? Over. Hi, Avery. Actually, I can call my family every day on the cell phone if I want to, and then once a week I get to see them on kind of a video conference. Over. My name is Joshua Yu. Who or what inspired you to be an astronaut and have a STEM-based career? Over. Actually, my family was very supportive when I was growing up, and I just remember watching shuttles launch over and over and over again and absolutely loved it and knew I needed to be there. Over. My name is Peyton Moon McCarthy. What qualities or characteristics do you believe are necessary to pursue a career involving space exploration? Over. Honestly, determination. Don't let anybody ever tell you what you can and can't do. Only you can determine that. Over. My name is Nashini Fernando. What subjects do you have to focus on the most, and how long is the training to become an astronaut? Over. So the training can be long, but I'd say that there's no one subject that is more important than others. Science, math, and certainly learning how to read and write well is also very, very important. Over. My name is Marcel Suarez. What accomplishments do you think are possible 30 years from now? Over. So I think 30 years from now we'll be living on the moon, possibly living on Mars, and learning that humans can successfully live off this planet. Over. My name is Zoe Stamatopoulos. How do you keep up with physical activity aboard the ISS? Over. Well, Zoe, I just finished working out right before talking with you guys. I spent an hour on our treadmill running, and then I actually lifted weights with a special machine for an hour and a half. And we do that every day. Over. My name is Quinlan Conry. What career path would you recommend for someone wanting to follow in your footsteps? Over. Honestly, the career path to follow is the one that you want to do. I really wanted to be a doctor, and so that's what I did. And then I looked into becoming an, an astronaut after that. So don't pick a career because you think NASA wants you to pick it. You pick it because it's what you want to do. My name is Christopher Howard. How do you think the private space industry will affect government agencies such as NASA as well as the field itself? Over. So we are waiting for our commercial companies to finish building their vehicles so they can launch astronauts to and from the ISS right now. And we are hoping that will be very soon in the next year. So we're very excited about the progress they're making. Over. My name is Harry Doucette. How do astronauts experiencing long periods of time in space protect themselves from the dangerous electromagnetic waves that come from the sun? Over. So Harry, you're talking about space radiation. Great question. And the way we protect ourselves is the ISS, the thickness of the shielding, the Earth's atmosphere, and the Earth's magnetic field all protect us from radiation right now. But that will change as we head out to Mars because we won't have the protection of the Earth anymore. So it'll be a big problem we need to work on. Over. My name is Oren Philpott. What is it like to dock on the ISS? Over. It was the most wonderful feeling to feel our Soyuz spacecraft touch and dock with ISS because we knew our friends were waiting for us on the other side. Over. My name is Maite Ariza. How has your perspective of the Earth changed since being in space? Over. My perspective has changed because I've seen what we can accomplish while orbiting around the Earth. We just had HTV, our Japanese cargo vehicle, dock the other day, and to see that vehicle fly up to the space station and dock like it was easy business was absolutely amazing. Over. How, my name is Carl Schott. How would you go about harvesting crops on another planet, and what are the necessities needed to complete this task? Over. So we're actually growing plants up here in the space station.
changing. And two of the most important things we look at is how water is able to get to the plants because we do not have gravity up here. And we also do the soil to use a nutrient-rich mixture. So my question would be, is what would you use on a different planet? Over. My name is Bennett Black, and does food taste different in space? Over. It doesn't taste different, but our, a lot of our food is kind of mushy, and so we miss crunchy foods like crunchy tacos and things like that. So that would be my goal for the future is to have more crunchy food in space. Over. My name is Emma Giordano, and what is the temperature of the International Space Station, and can you change it? Over. So the temperature of the space station is almost exactly like your house. It's very comfortable. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt right now, and yep, you can change it up or down, whatever is comfortable for the crew. Over. My name is Ellie Tacasa, and how many people can be on the ISS at one time? So we can support a lot of people. When the shuttles were still flying, we had up to 13 people on board the ISS for a certain period of time, about a couple weeks. Usually up here right now, we have about six people. So right now we have three, and we're waiting for the next crew to launch in just a couple days. Over. My name is Brandon Stray. What are the different jobs at a space station? Over. Tons of different jobs. Our jobs are science every day. We also do routine maintenance, so spaces like an old house, we need to fix things. We do space walks outside the space station. We do robotics. So every day is different, and we all share the different jobs. Over. My name is Akai Fulcher. How would you describe what it feels like to be floating in space? Over. Let me tell you, it never gets old. Every day is like a dance. Because everywhere you float, you can go up or down or left or right and walk or dance or twirl or spin. And it never gets old. It never gets boring. Over. Dr. Anand Chancellor, this is Courtney Black. I'm the coordinator here at Allen Park Elementary. Thank you so much for your time today. What advice would you give to educators who are trying to inspire the next generation of engineers and astronauts? What I would tell educators is, is tell kids not to be afraid to bother people and ask them what their job is, to learn what they do, find out what their research is, to help kids learn. And I, and I think a lot of students are afraid to ask somebody what they do because they think they're bothering them. But my quote this whole mission has been, go ahead and bother. It's the only way you're going to learn and see if it's something you may want to do in the future. Thank you so much. Um, how long have you been on the International Space Station, and when do you come home? Over. So we launched on the International Space Station, celebrating our four months of March, about a year or so ago. We are spotted on our December 13th. Dr. Ann and Chancellor, thank you so much for your time. November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra 73. This is Whiskey 0, Charlie Tango Lima. Clear and QRT.